time goes by, you slowly lose your advantage, and it doesn't matter. The Archon and the Bunny take it, baby. Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode with Man of Man, and today we've got a juicer for that. We've got Bunny Stomp. Featuring the almighty Regal Bunnycorn. Now, I immediately saw this card. It is kind of like the portrait of Machiko, but immediately you see with Audacity, you can get it really big and give it Trample. And unlike the portrait, that is uh, only enchantments, and this is all non-land permanents. Now, a lot of times, it's not really a big difference, but it does come out A, quicker. It doesn't need all the time to go into the portrait, and you can. it also counts all of your other stuff, like artifacts, even though we're not running that, with creatures even though a hey, scroll is an artifact creature but this deck is really really simple it's pretty much just pump out your stuff obviously we have the kami of transients i am not running the generous visitor and jukai naturalist um that deck i don't know if it's better or not i wanted to kind of make my own little slice of the pie but i couldn't get unique enough or different enough to not run royal treatment this card is pretty much just snakeskin veil on steroids and it's absolutely insane probably the one of the best like one i want to say one drop one cm seed protection spell maybe like ever like this card is literally so bonkers our kind of the wild rose is pretty good i'm not running four i think only two is fine because by the time you got the spellbook vendor um giving the one the sorcerer roll token to all your creatures you get the bunny corn you give it to the kind of transients then you put this sucker on it and it has base power four four and they have flying zoom in right through your to your opponent obviously calyx we could probably even pump this up to three just because calyx is so good but either way this is about the deck. Right of Harmony gives it a lot. Actually, with the Right of Harmony, quick little shout out with the Spellbook Vendor, paying one on all these things can really, you can storm pretty good off the Right of Harmony. So I do actually kind of like this. Here we go. Cute little deck here. Very, very aggressive mana curve. Let's see if we can put out some big fat bunnies and give them the Royal Treatment. We'll give the, the Regal Unicorn the Royal Treatment it deserves. But before we get into the gameplay, make sure to subscribe helps out the channel tremendously go ahead and hit the like button the like button looks just like that helps out the channel so much and without further ado let's get ready to vanquish some enemies <music> professor pickles nice name we gotta love it all right let's see what we got mm, i think this is an okay hand we are on the draw, so a little suboptimal, but yeah, it is what it is. Speaking of suboptimal, I'm not used to having the um, the alternate lands, not alternate. And for the cycle, I must I just missed them. It is what it is. All right, so I got the Quarian Beast Caller. This deck, I have not had a whole lot of chance to play against the Gruul version. So let's see what they got. We can go for Ossification, but I think going for Kami of Transients is pretty good. I'm gonna do this. I'm not. I'm gonna pay you no respect. To the beast caller, no respect whatsoever. Let's see what you get big, get big, do whichever you gotta do. I got two ossifications for you. Reckless storms. You see, that's what I want to play my ossifications on here. So we're gonna go ahead and just let you, you boom boom, just punch my face in. That's fine. We'll get you later. We'll get you a little later. I think I kind of have to do the ossification. Get the Kami of Transients a little buffed up, and then we can go ahead and take out the storm seeker. And then we still have the Royal Treatment. And I think probably just going to go ahead. Oh, God. Going to go ahead and end the turn. Put back in this old sucker here. These things are terrible, by the way. My goodness. I wish the AirPods just, like, kind of worked with your PC. But they don't. But they don't. I actually tried it. If anyone, if any of you have ever tr actually, like, tried it, it's literally, like, the worst thing you could ever do. Halana and Elena. I have not seen this card in a hot second here. 6-6! Six, six. That's a lot! That's a lot, isn't it? Okay, so... Already getting a little sweaty here. My turn. We could kill... What do we do here? How exactly do we play this? The Calyx and the Ossification go together, like, just, just so wonderfully. So, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and play a little Planes action. Let's go ahead and get the Calyx going. And now, let's make sure... Let's make sure, because we have the Audacity. I know this leaves us wide open. We won't have the Royal Treatment up, but I think it's okay. With the Calyx up, it's going to be fine. We swing in, we're going to do some damage, and we're going to copy some Ossification. The Audacity to copy Ossification. I mean, whoo -wee. Might as well switch up the planes. Hey, they might have land removal. I don't know. They are running red, so, I mean, we, we don't know. 
And definitely gonna go get rid of the Beast Collar here. We'll target, we'll target Calyx here. So now we can actually, with a 3-3, we can block off Halana and Elena. Depending on what they put out, I don't know. And we have another ossification on the back end, so... Pretty, I mean, we're relatively aggressive. I don't think we're like all out of aggro. We're a little mid rangey slash aggro, and they are obviously pretty aggro. Ascendant Pack Leader. These, man, I have not seen a lot of these cards in a hot second, but this is definitely. I know all of these cards from back when, uh, back when I played. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I used to play a lot. If this is your first time ever seeing me, I think I made like 248 videos before I took a year off. But I'm back. You know, it feels good. Grinding the ladder, and what better time for um, Eldrain? Just to see what we got going on here. Um, they tapped their hand, so I mean, do they have a pump spell? That's what I'm worried about. I'm actually gonna do this. Just chump block. Oh, just straight up chump block. They the combi of Chandius is gonna be able to swing in for lethal, I would assume. So I'm gonna do this. I know it sounds super weird, but I mean, I, I think we're going to be fine. We actually can fly in with the Archon now. So this thing could be what? Um, it'll be like an 11-11. Let's go in for the Archon. Give it flying. Again, with just two red, there's no way they can really do anything here. And then we give it the Royal Treatment for the win. They also have First Strike and Reach, though. But they have to give away the, the, the ability to do... Um, Give something else hates with the Halana and Elena. Plus, if they let this through, they might just let it through. There's the Royal Treatment. That was a little bit risky. We could have gone for Ossification, but this is a little bit more fun. Plus, I wanted to win with the Archon of the Wild Rose. Bang! 12. Just down to zero. Just perfect. Archon of Wild Rose. Give it up, everybody. Luna Chop, how you doing? This is a not a good hand. I wish I had at least one more land. We're going to have a mulligan. Um, this will this will have to do by default. So let's go ahead and get. I don't like the pain lands, especially versus mono red, could really end up mattering. But I guess we'll go ahead and do it. We don't know what we're playing. Island. Okay, so then there we go. There we go. We don't give a crap. So, alrighty here. I still am a little undecided on the spirited companion, but I'm definitely not unexcited about the regal bunicorn. This thing's so cool. I absolutely love this card. It's kind of like the um, oh no, what's the other the other enchantment that I kind of don't like just because it is a little. Obviously, it's a lot slower, but always want to go with the Kami of Transients. And see, we're already paying life. I was a little bit, little bit lazy of a drop there, but pay 19. It doesn't really matter. Whenever I'm not playing Mono Red, I'm not really thinking about my life total too much, but still don't love to see it. I do not see this card being played really ever, honestly. Uh, playing an additional, playing additional land cards, just I don't know. I'm not a fan of them. I'm just really not. I think we can probably go in. I'm just gonna go straight in for Spellbook Vendor. I know we can always get the combo transients later. They want to counter it, they counter it. There's nothing else I can do about it. This Spellbook Vendor, though, being able to put a Sorcerer's Roll token and enchant somebody every single turn for the price of one. When I first saw this card, I was not that enthused by it. I just really wasn't. But now, now I'm kind of, I'm kind of on board. I'm kind of on the Choo Choo Spellbook Vendor train. Kami of Transients. Doing work. They're gonna go ahead and maybe, what, bounce me? Fading Hope. Fading Hope. That used to be, like, the most played card on the planet. And now it's just really not. But here's back to this, the Azu Azusa's Many Ways. I don't know. I mean, any anytime you have those uh, additional land cards, I feel like just most of the time I don't have an additional land to play. And then even when you... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, not too enthused by it. So how do we want to play this? Do we want to go for... Yeah, I guess... Yeah, the Thicket really sucks here late in the game, but it is what it is. Drop the Transients. If they counter it, again, we're just going to get it later. That's what the... Tra the, the Transients is so good. And I do have this awesome alternate art just from back in the day. I'm going to go ahead... We. Mm, I want to... I think they have a counter. They don't. Okay. So no counter. I guess they're just pure Simic full-blown ramp. Which, hey, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and swing in. They need one more land to be able to block with their Topiary Stomper. My Vigilance versus your Vigilance. And that's a big dino. I actually uh, never really like, looked at the art. It's actually, uh, in the, obviously, it's in the city. So, things should be a little bit bigger than my... my this, is just, this is just a human peasant with a book. Like, really? You know what I mean? 
Not for me to judge, wizards. A little, little weird to car design, but it is what it is. Maybe, maybe the spellbook vendor's magical. You know, that's kind of what I'm going by. Silver scrutiny. Whoa. Okay, that actually is pretty crazy. Like I. Oh gosh. Okay, I need to kind of step it up, because that 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 definitely changed the, the the board here around. Um, the archon. We're not ready for the archon, unfortunately. Um, once we do that, if they don't have a board wipe or something or a counter, we can drop the Archon and feel pretty gosh darn good about our lives. But in the meantime, let's go in for Spirited Companion. I actually don't really want... Hmm. We can't really enchant them. We can do Audacity and then we can do Spellbook Vendor on the next turn. Let's go in for the Regal Bunnicorn. We can't do, we can't do a Spellbook Vendor though. It doesn't feel great. And I'm actually probably... Are we swinging with the trans? I think we are, just by the how, the how the way we play it. And I'm getting a little nervous. We want to trade, it's fine. It's not wonderful. But if we go for the Archon of the Wild Rose, we're not going to be able to enchant everybody, just because we're kind of low on the enchantments. There's another Topiary Stomper. I don't think we mind too much. See, another one of these things. This is, um... I guess I'm kind of eating crow a little bit. Gain a little bit of life. Oh my gosh. See, this is what I don't understand. I've tried building these decks, and all you do is just drop land for days, and then you don't do anything. Like, you you have seven... You have, you have ten land, but you haven't really, like, done anything. Now, I know that they're gonna... At some point, they're gonna drop something big and fat on my face, but for now, I'm talking crap. I'm talking mad crap for now. So here we go. We feel Archon... Of the wild rose i think we're just gonna drop it we have to be pretty aggressive here and we go for audacity on the bunicorn and then we do auto pay on the vigilance creature that makes the most sense right boom boom scry one audacity here's the thing if they, they don't have board wipes they're playing simic they don't have like a crazy board wipe so i'm gonna actually like, i think i'm gonna keep the audacity let's keep the audacity Bang, bang, down to 11, 15. So they are going to gain a lot of life. Ooh, okay, I'm, I, okay. Memory Deluge, this, ooh, I don't know how I feel right now. I feel like it's, gener I feel like it's 50-50. Because memory, memory Deluge, I mean, they're digging for something. They, st oh, they have a lot, of, they do have a lot of land. Is it the new Goose card or something? There's no way this is just it, right? They have to have something up their sleeve. Like, they have to. Well, I mean, we, we got to be aggressive. Whenever you have a board state like this and they have all the land in the world, you have to be aggressive because as the time, as time goes by, you slowly lose your advantage and it doesn't matter. The Archon and the Bunny, take it, baby. Means, how you doing? Let's go ahead and keep, this is actually a pretty gosh darn good hand. Yeah, we have been like fixed up here. This is looking good. Got our thicket. Lemony Snicket, Razor's Furge Thicket. Red. So, okay, so we're going to go with some mono red nonsense. It is what it is. We've seen it a million times before. We actually have two ossifications, so looking pretty good. Spirit of Companion is going to draw us into our third land. And, nope, no, nope, but okay, everything will be okay. Got a Skrelv here. If we can get into another land, I will feel absolutely, positively wonderful about our odds at winning here. I'm gonna keep the Spirit of Companion and oh, Ancestral Anger. Well, definitely not chump blocking with the Trample now. Man, that Ancestral Anger, it's such a fragile card though. When it works, it works, but when it doesn't, it doesn't. And now we are missing land drops. And I don't, I don't like missing land drops. I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan. Not a big fan. <sighs> what do we wanna do here? I guess let's drop our Comedy of Transients. If the Spirit of Companion goes down at the same time, we'll get it back. But again, we need a land. I don't want to waste the Ossification on the Swift Spear. They're going to play something a little juicier. Oh, Ren's Resolve. Okay. Don't see that a whole lot, but it is pretty good. Phoenix Chick. 2-2. Two, two. That'd be a good Ossification target. This is an easy double block here. Easy peasy, because I can't kill both. And they're tapped out, so I don't have to worry about any prowess nonsense. We lose a, Okay, thank goodness we get a land here. That was starting to get a little nervous, but all is well. Ossification, let's not... I don't have to worry about bringing this uh, Phoenix Chick back from the grave. Let's go ahead and get rid of you. And we can drop our little Screlvy. 
And mm, I guess we might. Mm, yeah, because they have the Kamado faces Kakazan. Okay. Can we recover from the Onslaught? This Onslaught hasn't been that bad for Mono Red, and I'm still just like, man, what the. An Onslaught. That's how scary Mono Red is. Mono Red's no joke. Okay. Blood Feather Phoenix. This thicket. Oh my gosh, these thickets. I think I have, um... It's either two or three. I definitely don't have four of these thickets, so... Feeling a little crappy about that. But, nevertheless... Let's go ahead and drop the ossification on the on the phoenix here. And then we can hold up the, the defector might, I guess, for a burnt. Nah, that's, that's dumb. That's dumb. The bonicorn is a 3-3. Three, three. Hmm... <laughs> we'll give him it. We'll give him it. I'm gonna go for the ossification, just because it's the blood feather phoenix. Yeah, it can come back. We gotta exile it. Not fun. Not fun, but I think it's what we have to do. And I'm perfectly okay with just kind of chump blocking on the spirited companion. I know it shrinks down our bunicorn, which is not what we want. Lightning strike on the screll. This is kind of okay with me. At least that scroll absorbs three damage, and we only have nine life, so like I'm pretty okay with that. I'm gonna take it. Because we have a spellbook vendor, we can do something with the, the companion. Oh, don't do this. Don't what are you doing? What are you doing? Blazing Crescendo. Oh god. Oh god. Blazing Crescendo. That card is actually really good. I'm surprised I don't see that uh, used a lot more. Okay. Well. If we go for Bunicorn. Let's go for Bunicorn and then just drop the Kami of Transients. And I think this is pretty much all that we can muster up here. Not great, but we can chump block. We can kill one with the with the Bunicorn. We just kind of have to hope that they just drew into kind of nothing. That's not nothing. That's, that's the opposite of nothing. Oh my god. Our Bunicorn is only so big. Ancestral Anger. I don't know why they didn't put it on the, the Swift Spear, though. Why did they not put it on the Swift Spear? That made no sense. And you put it on the Swift Spear, and you drew something, so they probably just drew into nothing. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm not going to give them that yet, because I, I don't know how we're looking here. So let's go for Ossification. We, we definitely got to Ossify. Get the Kami of Transients a little bit bigger. Swift Spear. Go for Spellbook Vendor. And now I'm still not attacking. I'm still not attacking because I need to get the Archon out and then we just need to get the Spellbook Vendor to start doing stuff. So, play with fire. This is exactly why you can never be too comfortable. Um, land. Okay. Let's go for the Archon here. And I do not want to pay onto the Bunicorn. But I do want to go on to the Spellbook Vendor. I think we're going to have to do this because if they have a burn spell and they just burn our face. I think we're going to have to put some pressure on them. And plus we need to scry. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Plus we have Vigilance, I'm going to swing with the Bunicorn. They take it, this is it. This is literally the game. Please no burn spell. No play with fire. If we get a play with fire, Ancestral Anger. Mm, that's not going to do it yet. Not yet. No way. No way. I'm, I'll give him the good game. I am salty. Ugh. Slashcraft. I like the name. Kind of rolls off the tongue pretty well. Let's go ahead and keep this. It's not the best hand, but I do like this royal treatment. This royal treatment, single handed. Wait, is that a mulligan? Let's give him the friendly mulligan. Hello. Everybody needs a friend when you take a mulligan, is what it is. Let's go ahead and drop our razor verse thicket. Want to get these out of the way. These are so gross. I don't even have the alternate art for them. That's how yucky they are. No, I'm just kidding. I actually just didn't get them. But I usually always get the, the, the lands. But between you and me, I did not. Uh, was not playing. 
was not playing for a while. So it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the bunny corn. It's not great to drop this little silly bunny corn as a one-one, but he'll get bigger. He'll get bigger, I promise. I think he's was eating grass. Gosh dang. Herd migration. Um, okay, so they're actually pretty starved on, on land though, because a lot of times they'll you'll wait for that. So they got the briefcase. Another royal treatment. Okay, I'm actually pretty okay with that. No need to get into our pain lands just yet. Let's go. The audacity of the bunny corn. Love that. Immediately, we're loving that. Let's go and attack. We could pump it up with the royal treatment, but let's keep our royal treatments. Let's keep our royal treatments nice and sound. Whenever we get into the Archon of the Wild Rose, we kind of want to keep the royal treatment up. So, like... It does suck to tap out for the Archon, which is why I'm only running two. A lot of times, it is very imperative that we don't, especially if they have some sort of removal spell. But let's see what they got. This is four, five color? Like, what do they got going on here? They got the briefcase, Spars headquarters, blue, red, white. Oh, they got some, they got some fishy stuff cooking up here in this. Archangel of Wrath. And they did they kick this? Okay, well, we have the best the best green instant remo or not removal protection from removal pretty much ever printed so there you go now we've got an extra roll enchantment on there trample hexproof ward one six four and we're only getting bigger this bunny is bananas okay i i, I don't even know what else to say unfortunately we did drop it into a, a land which kind of sucks because again we don't we don't want to do this but we can still swing in only three power, we're fine with this. But this Archangel of Wrath, I mean, I like, I actually kind of like this card. I actually was running it in, um, in another kind of like rampy kind of deck, but I don't know. I don't know. Just, just kind of a, it's, it's okay. I don't want to, I don't want to diss it too much. It's an okay card. Really sucks that we're just not playing anything for an entire turn because we are a little bit more of an aggressive deck, but we're kind of flooded here, so it just is what it is. Elish Norna, the mother of machines. Okay, so we don't get any sort of like um a triggers, but I kind of think we, we already have this. Like we, like yeah, we're fine. I don't think that really does anything. We, uh, of course, it would be the, the spirited companion, but all right. So let's go ahead and drop the Archon of the Wild Rose. Bam, 7-5, and we could go for Royal Treatment on something now, so feeling pretty good about that. So now they're going to think twice about having the Archangel of Wrath swing in. That really sucks, though, because that just shuts down our Spirit to Companion so hard. Okay, so they're going to obviously get two. So more they got, I mean, uh, I was going to say Topiary Stomper or something, but they actually do not have green. This is actually really good. They just spent three mana just to kind of do nothing. Blew their mana base here. Yeah, this is this is looking pretty good. So this thing does have vigilance, which kind of kind of is annoying. But at least our archon just walls off their archangel, so not too worried here. Not too worried. We could go in for royal treatment on the archon right now, but it's a it's a little. Eh. Man, another land that really sucks. We have we we got nothing in the hand. In the hand department, nothing. So, Spirited Companion. It does uh, bust open the uh, the Elish Norn, unfortunately. Hmm. I think we're just going to swing in, right? I mean, we're, we have 12 life. We at least have a blocker. So, I don't see the reason to just not swing in. But that Elish Norn really blocks out our little companion so well. Um, they do, they are, they are tapping their hand, so I'm a little nervous. What could they have? I mean, if we go for Royal Treatment, let's go for Royal Treatment on the Archon. I, I have to admit that didn't work, the, I didn't, didn't work quite the way I wanted it to. Don't tell anybody. We'll just keep this between me and you. It didn't matter. We just no. We don't talk about it. Udis Wars. What a name. What a name. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give you a high. 
we're gonna go ahead and give you a wave because that that names like that deserve recognition my goodness okay so got the comedy of trains is pretty standard opening here got the archon of the wild rose there we go yeah love the okay teething warmer this card is really good so they this actually I'm thankfully we're getting these thickets out of the way early because this can get pretty aggravating if you get them not at the right spot I'm gonna be aggressive I'm gonna go straight in for the comedy of transients like if I was playing like black I would be a lot more hesitant on doing this but because the only oh yep yep we deserve that no we deserve it I, I deserve that 100% we have a, we even have a royal treatment up here and I was just like nah nah screw it so we deserve that, but we still have the Spirited Companion at least, and the Royal Treatment just doesn't hit hard on the Spirited Companion, but we can at least Audacity and go for the Archon. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're okay. It's not great, but I didn't play the Audacity on Curve for the, because I don't want to, I always want to keep the Archon safe with a Royal Treatment anyway. So this thing's going to get huge, fast, and not really liking it, not really liking it. We do have a Ganjo though, not a Ganjo, a uh, Basiju. So we can, we're not, we're not out of it yet. We're not out of it yet. Kami of Transience. It's pretty good. It's a little, a little slower than I'd like it to be, but it's okay. We can go for the Spirit of Companion and the Transience. Get it up to a 3 3. Draw a card. And as long as we can get like maybe like an Ossification, we should be good. But the aggressive stance on that Kami of Transience for the Glass Casket, I, I, I deserve it. They actually have the old art too. I don't know. I don't know which one. Which one do you guys like better, the, the new art or the old art? I guess you can't really see it too well with my big fat head in the way. But Sir Ginger. Okay, this thing is so big. Oh my god. We we need removal quick. We can we can um enchant with it, and then by the time the arc we have a four four. This thing might be so big. I don't even know if we can handle this. Eight eight. It does not have trample, fortunately, so we can go ahead and just chump block it. And I'm gonna chump block because I don't want to take a whole lot of damage here. Brushland. Um I think if we go for Calyx. How do we want to play this here? If we go for Calyx and then go for Audacity. Let's put it on. Let's put it on the Kami. Then let's go Audacity. It already has Trample though, so that's kind of why I don't love this. Hmm. But I do kind of like the power buff. A 1-1. One, one. And let's put this on you, because I know the Sir Ginger can get bigger. So just in case they got something going on, we can keep the Spirit of Companion safe from the Ginger. I kind of like that. And now, let's swing in here. Because we're going to deal damage, and then we're going to be able to put another Audacity on the Spirited Companion as well. So let's take action. And we let's go for another Spirited Companion. As long as we can have the Spirited Companion, I think we're okay. In turn, we still have a Royal Treatment. And we can chump block this Teething Wormlet all day. For now. Tough Cookie. Oh my gosh, they're going full... Green artifact cookies. I'm 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 a fan of this. This is absolute fun in the making. Alright, tough cookie, tough cookie. Again though, I mean we're not we don't have we don't have planeswalkers, so we don't have to worry about the hexproof haste trample, blah 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 blah. I am glad that Sir Ginger got a little bit of love here. Like these this little like gingerbread like theme with the Eldrain in the first set, I feel like it probably didn't get enough love. And I'm I'm kinda liking this. This teething wormlet, I mean, they do get to scry this way, which is fine. We can just block this thing all day. It does have death touch, but our Kami can come back. Their teething wormlet, little cute little teething wormlet's not gonna be able to do that. Really? Okay. Well, they, they do tap. I mean, unless they have, they don't have audacity themselves, so we can just do this. And I can just let this through. I don't really care. Yeah, we'll let, we'll let the ginger pass through. Okay. Okie dokie. Well, I guess we can do this. Now we can go for the Archon. They are tapping their stuff here. I mean, I don't know what they could really have. 
I don't, I don't know if I really care to find out. Let's go for the Archon here. This is now an 11-9 Trample, which is pretty nice. And we can also go for Bunnicorn. Um, sure. Let's just swing in with the Kami Transit. It does fly now, so we don't have to worry about this. Sure. Bang, bang. And let's go ahead and copy another Spirited Companion. Yeah, sure. I'll put on the Archon. Draw a card. More Audacity. I do... I would like to drop the Bunnicorn. Just for the funziness. Just so we, it would be pretty big. What's oh, the 6-6? Six, six. I think we're going to do it. Let's drop the, the, the Regal Bunnicorn here. Just in case they have an Audacity, I do want a big body. And I think Bunnicorn... If they do drop Audacity on this Teething Wormlet, the Audacity would probably kill us. 12-12, yeah, if they give this thing Audacity, we're actually looking pretty rough. So I think the Bunnicorn is the best play here. Can Buddhist Walrus pull this out, or will the Bunny and the Archon reign supreme? See what's the plan here? They can always sacrifice this and give it uh, life equals to its power, but I'm not too worried. I mean, that doesn't seem like the best move. I think that's more just like the legendary rule when you have like the legendaries of Sir Ginger, two legendaries, boom, one pops off, and then you get the, the Sir Ginger. I think that's more the move, but I'm not too worried here. This doesn't do a whole lot either. I mean, they don't activate it as a sorcery too, so. What is Buddhist Wallers going to do? Again, if they had an Audacity, I think we're, we're still okay. It puts us in a weird spot, but like we're still okay. I didn't. I don't leave anything up for the Royal Treatment. Okay. That's fine. Potentially delaying the Inevitable. I mean, they are going to get a lot stronger with the Sir Ginger, but again, they don't have Trample. So this is, I mean, and I don't... I don't think there's a way they can just give it them trample, right? Not not with like a flash or something. I mean, I think we're just gonna chump back our, our spirit of companions, and this is gonna be it. Bang bang! Those are big bangs. Like, don't get me wrong, they are big bangs, but that is good game. And there we go.